Let's look at some formatting options when you want to finish off your build PL. So firstly, you can rename any column by just clicking on the name. So in this case, this was the forecast column, and then your changes will be saved. You can also select the three dots, and then you have the options to edit, format, lock the dates, hide column, or delete a column. What does all of these functionalities mean? So edit, you can change the data that's pulling for your column, but you cannot change the column type. So I can select a different budget, I can change the budget type, or whether I want to pull historic or remaining data, I can change the lag period, or even the view. Please note that if you add more than one period on a monthly view, it'll add several columns to your build PL. And you can always update or cancel these changes. If you wanted to use several columns in an equation column, you can always hide those columns that were used in your equation column if you don't want them to form part of your overall build PL. So when you hide a column and you toggle on show hidden, you can still see the column, but it won't pull through to a report. If you toggle off show hidden, the column will disappear altogether. And you can always choose to show this column again if you wanted to. Locking the dates will mean that if you change the date period up here, or you pull the report for a different period, this date will not change. So your budget column will then always pull for December 2023. Let me show you an example. So if I change this to February, all my other columns would have updated, but this column remained December 2023. You also have the option to format a column. So what this means is if I choose formatting, I can add rules to this column that will make the data stand out in a different way. So if I wanted to, I can choose to select a rule that applies to an above average. And then you can choose what you want to happen to the cell if the rule is applied. So you can choose to make them yellow, for instance. You can also choose an icon. In this case, I will just choose a yellow dot. And then you can choose to apply this to all or just accounts that behave like. And then you can choose revenue or expenses. You can also choose group totals that behave like revenue or expenses, category totals that behave like revenue or expenses, and then lastly, you can choose equations. This will be equations in your layout applied to your build. So let's choose all, and then you can add several rules. So let's also add if the value is greater than zero, Highlight the cell no color, but give us a green dot. And I can also choose to select all accounts, group totals, category totals, or equations. So let's select all and apply. Now you can see that the formatting has applied to this column, and you can use this to customize your build PL and make the data stand out even more. If you wanted to remove any of these formatting, you can just select the trash bin icon. Another thing that you can do is you can reorder these columns in any order that you would like. So for instance, I can put the variance column actual versus budgets before my forecast column. I can choose to put the note column in the front and the variance column before the forecast column and then select done. Now this has been reordered. You can also make the columns wider. And like I said earlier, you can rename any columns. Now that we are done editing and formatting this build PNL, I can also change the layout at any time. I can choose J's PNL summarized. And this will not change any of my columns, but just the layout applied. The last thing I would suggest is that you rename your build PNL to something that will explain what you built. And then you can also provide a short description of your build PNL. 
Remember, you can add this to a template that you've set up in your company, such as Jay's report, or you can create a new template from here. You have the option to share this build PL with other entities in your organization, and then they could apply these columns to one of their layouts. Now that you know how to build your own customized build PL, we hope that you can use this in your reporting going forward.